This is the second time trying this. Um, I'll have to look at the kilobyte measure when I upload it and edit it. Um, last night I was in a great degree of pain. Not just my normal uh, aches and pains from being old crippled and having had a really um, active life is the best way I could describe it. However, um, see if this will move. Uh, that's as close as it can get. This hand, the middle finger and the thumb on this hand have ingrown nails. I'm the only person I know that has fingernails ingrow. But I cut my nails too short and I'm going to stop doing that. But part of the reason I do that is I have brittle nails. Well, cut them too short and they started growing up into the, the meat of the finger, meat of the thumb. It was excruciating. It's better today, but I took a handful of meds last night that I normally take, and then I took some more, and finally at 1.04 a.m., it uh, stopped hurting enough that I could lay down. Um, I posted that on Facebook. A friend of mine, and I do love the guy, he is a friend, but I'm not going to say his name. I don't want to embarrass him, and I absolutely believe he doesn't uh, watch this uh, these vlogs. Stated on Facebook, I didn't know what pain is. He's up all night trying not to throw up due to how bad he is hurting. I wasn't going to have a pen contest with him, you know. Uh, he has had one kind of pain I hope to never experience that is far worse than anything I've had. Physically, I think if he actually had to deal with the kind of pain I'm in, it would kill him. Uh, I'm not bragging when I say that. There's no... You know, that's stupid bragging about how bad you hurt. But uh, I've had a lot of physical blunt force trauma. Um, I've known very few people that have had the kind of uh, damage to their body I've had and still have all their limbs and still be able to walk even though it's with a cane. But like I said, my friend on Facebook, and he's a friend in real life. He uh, he uh, lives in Fun Valley. He and his son are both wonderful people, and I love them to death. But the pain I'm talking about that he's had that I hope to never have, he lost his wife. The only thing worse than that, I believe, would be losing a child, outliving your child. And I hope to never do that. Um, I outlived a daughter-in-law, and that was really, really horrible. But outliving your child would be worse. But outliving your wife, I, I don't think I'd be able to deal with it. I really don't. And I hope God blesses me that I never have to, to uh, deal with that. But my friend did and has. Um, I gave him a response on Facebook I doubt he was expecting, and I've been doing it all morning. I told him I would be praying for him. He probably expected me to have a peeing contest with him. Oh, I, no. The proper, appropriate and proper response, if I were going to post one, was what I did. Uh, I prayed for him, and I'm still praying for him. He and his son have not had a good time of it. They both, well, 
His son works for Jerry Pletcher full-time, and he works part-time. But uh, my heart goes out to him. It does. My heart goes out to anyone that's lost their mate or lost their child. I made a statement on Facebook the other day that I'm going to really focus on praying more for others, and I've been doing that. It's about the only thing that I can do to really help anybody. Um, so many people need it. Uh, I've. It boggles my mind, but you know, it all kind of points to this being the end times, and I really believe that these are the end times. I just don't believe that a lot of people are going to be able to endure to the end. I really don't. I probably won't simply because physically I'm in too bad a shape to do it. Uh, here in a couple of weeks my adopted son Dale is going to drive me up to OU Medical Center and I'll go in have to wear a mask going in and they're going to get this thing off of my face. Uh, this is the longest a scab has stayed on there. It's really puffed up. It looks like it might be infected. I don't know, but I take a handful of stuff, like I said, every night. And a lot of the stuff I take every day are supplements, one of which is L-lysine. Um, a lot of people think it's a bunch of hooey, but let me tell you something. I had a, a uh, and the light from the windows are killing my eyes. Um, it's overcast, so I'm not really going to have to wear those blind man glasses that I hate. But when it's bright and sunshiny, I have to wear them. There are no lights on in here, so I don't have to wear them. But L-lysine, I had a wound on my right ankle that would not heal. And my uh, baby girl, Crystal, Sissy, that I've got to get together with and get her adopted. She's, she's my child. That's how I feel about it. But... Uh, Anyway, she was giving Aurora L-lysine capsules. They're real big pills for fever blisters. And Jerry said he takes it when he gets fever blisters. Uh, I've only had maybe two in my whole life. But I started taking that. And after taking one a day for about three weeks, that wound on my ankle started healing up. I'm diabetic, so that's going to take some doing. And they'll give me something to put on there. I, I read their packet they gave me, and you've got to take care of it. And if you're diabetic, you don't heal as well. Um, I take stuff for heart. I take stuff for liver. I take stuff for my diabetes. I take stuff for the, the uh, Lazarus syndrome I've got. I take stuff for a heart condition. Um, just all, for kidneys, all kinds of stuff. And it keeps me going. And during the daytime, usually I feel okay. Like today, I'm having an, actually having a pretty good day after the night I had. Um, that side of the thumb is what's ingrown. But the pain's laying down and the swelling's going down. So learning in spite of my own stupidity, I'll let my nails grow out a little bit, and I'll go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and I will uh, keep them trimmed a little longer. I got to take a picture of that. Probably ought to take another one. <laughs> more stuff to post on Facebook I, I uh, I 
took yesterday off. I didn't do a whole lot. Now I do have to go out in the office today. It'll be later. Linda's taking a nap right now. I hope she is. It's later in the afternoon. It's like 1.50, 10 till 2, and uh, July 28th. Um, it's a significant uh, date, actually. They had a deal called Operation Red Wings in 2005. On July 28th, or June, not July, June 28th, 2005, um, a contention of Navy SEALs were ambushed. All of them but one died. The one that survived is my friend Marcus Luttrell. He and his twin brother are Navy SEALs. Uh, Marcus is a a seriously sweet human being has a wonderful family and then you had some army night stalkers come in and pull them out if you you don't know anything about the deal uh, research it a little bit I just thought I'd throw that in there simply because the world is full of heroes and people don't even know it well what do I mean full of heroes let me tell you about one of my heroes. His name was C.W. Clifton William, went by the name of Sonny Sewell. He was my daddy. The man worked. That's all he did his whole life, worked. He was kind. He uh, took care of his family any way he could including me and mine. He, uh, he was extremely talented uh, in a lot of different ways. And like my late cousin Lanny McGowan said, Sonny Sewell was the smartest man I ever knew. Lanny uh, commented on that during my mother's funeral, or sometime thereabout, when my earth mother died, my birth mother died, um, he's right. My father was very, very intelligent, extremely so. And uh, the main thing that makes him one of my heroes is the fact he took care of people. He worked. I mean, he worked all the time. I remember times he would be up till early in the wee hours of the morning taking care of people, doing laundry. Um, another hero of mine was my grandfather, Virgil Lance. He, uh, he was a preacher and a barber, but the same thing. Papa Virgil took care of people. You know, but there are folks like that out there. My late father-in-law, Charles Robert Duvall, one of my big heroes, he took care of people. He was kind. You know, there are all different shades and varieties of heroes out there. They're not all men. There are also women that are heroes. I guess that might be part of the human condition, but like I said in another video, I truly believe our purpose in life is to learn to love properly. And I'm trying to right now, as hard as I can. It's not, I, I know I can't earn salvation. You know, anybody that says you can earn going to heaven, no. You act properly and you act kindly toward others. It shows your love for the Savior and you try to, to do what is right to please God because you love God. But you can't earn anything. That's why it was necessary for Jesus to come to this earth and die for us. 
and pay for our sins. Now, I'm not preaching. It sounds like it, but I'm not. I'm just stating that's not why I'm trying to be kind. The reason I'm trying to be kind is due to the kindness others have extended to me. That's why I'm praying more. I'm concentrating more on, on helping other people. And that is the reality of what I'm saying. Well, Mom, John, I love you. I do. I hope your day is going well. My brother, Michael, Paul, I love you. I hope your day is going well. My friend Chris Kimball and my friend Monty Jones, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I do. And anyone else that watches this video, I hope your day goes well. I hope it is a blessed day. And like I've said before, and I'll say continuously, be kind. That is one thing we can all do and it takes some effort for some people. It takes effort for me to be kind. But be kind. Go out of your way to be kind to others. I love you. God bless you. And I'll try to do this again tomorrow. Bye.